Catch your name. Borscht. Once again? Borscht. Elsa Borscht. I saw your ad in the newspaper. Did anyone ever tell you you look like... A detective? Yeah. What's the caper? It's my father. He's been acting strange. Upset. Unstable. Sounds like he's a doctor, not a detective. No. He's been getting phone calls. And he's been followed by several men. Hmm. Does your only bills or a wife trouble, maybe? No. Dad's a widower. And retired a prop man in the motion picture business. Uh -huh. Sure, make a swell spot for a Coca-Cola sign, wouldn't it? I guess so. Now, the acoustics here are one of the finest in the world. Yes, I know. About my father. Uh huh. What's his name, Miss Borscht? Horst. Horst Borscht? Yes, that's right. These men have been following him. I, I wonder if one of them looks anything like the fellow who's been creeping up the aisle towards us. What? He's been crawling on my peanut shells for the last few minutes. Stand right up, Buster, and make yourself known. I got one and you got one. Want to negotiate? I don't think so. Look behind you. That chestnut's over in Nero's uncle. Meet Nero's uncle. Such a lot of guns. Yeah, put yours down in the seat. You wouldn't want the lady to get hurt. I wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. On our side. You're going to stand for a frisk. Sure. Miss Borscht, you get up in the next row. Do it. Changed all that much since they shot Devil Indemnity. Shot who? Devil Indemnity. Right around this neighborhood. Paramount, 1944. Edward G. Robinson, Barbara Stanwyck, and Fred McMurray. I think I saw it on television. Yeah. Stanwyck's ankle bracelet coming down the stairs. I run by Edward G. Robinson. What house? What house? We just passed our house. I know. Why? In this business, Elsa, it's best not to park in front of the place you're going into. Oh, I see. I said I'd do the thinking for the both of us. Say, did your dad ever work on any John Wayne pictures? I'm not really sure. You're not? Elsa remembered. What letter? From father and addressed to him. Ah, postmark yesterday. Are you sure it's his handwriting? Yes, but it doesn't make sense. It's some sort of a poem. Under the tramp of marching feet. Under the beat of daring drum. Follow the tree beneath the post. Age will show the way to go. To a stone, a stone, high or low. This is tough in the Musgrave Ritual. What's the Musgrave Ritual? A Sherlock Holmes story. Rat born and Nigel Bruce. They call the Sherlock Holmes face his death. I think I saw it on television once. Yeah, they run it all the time. Did your father gamble? Maybe involved in narcotics? Anything like that? No, no, no. He was a quiet man. A very private sort of person. When did he come to the USA? After the war. WW2? Was he uh, one of Hitler's heroes? Don't say anything to anybody about this. It'll be our little secret. 
I went along. Sam. You make a great steak. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with your cucumbers either. I told Elsa about the eyes of Alexander and about Zindaneth and her father. She was astonished. She said she knew nothing about the sapphires. I believed her. Even though the letter was gone, I had it memorized along with the lump on my head. As we walked up to the door, I had a feeling something was wrong. I was right. Boxes? I thought he was retired. He still rented these things to other prop men he knew. I don't think those two were prop men. They were shooting real bullets. I don't think they got what they were looking for. Well, it's Bombera time again. Remember. Let me do the talking. I told Bombera about everybody and everything, including the eyes of Alexander, but excluding the letter. Okay, Sam. I'll look up some of these people first thing in the morning. You bought yourself a little time. Well, time goes by, Lieutenant, and it's getting late. One of these days, you're going to buy yourself some big trouble. Mummy, you to get yourself an organ grinder. And then a tin cup. You have yourself a great act. Listen, you screwed up little more. All right, cut it out, both of you. Now, Sam, listen to me. I'm warning you. I'd let you get away with some of this and some of that for reasons of my own, but don't push. Not me or any other police officer. Otherwise, I'll set your britches on fire, you hear me? Yeah, okay, okay, I hear you. Come on, Hank. Miss Bush, I'll station a team of officers outside. You won't be bothered again. Good night. 